A little later, but hey, one of these movies you are claiming is your favorite of 2014. Let's find out here. And an ambitious way to make a movie when we talk about Boyhood. Yes, it won't be a big shocker, shocker which one it is. Boyhood, this took 12 years to make from director Richard Linklater. Stars Ethan Hawke, Patricia Arquette, and newcomer Eller Coltrane. When they started, he was five years old, and they ended when he was 18. It is basically the story of a young boy growing up. Why is it all on us, though? You know, what about you? How was your week? You know, who do you hang out with? Do you have a girlfriend? What have you been up to? I see your point. So we should just let it happen more naturally, right? That's what you're saying. Okay, that's what we'll do. Starting now. So definitely a unique way to make a movie. You're saying they did this over 12 years yeah. for the authenticity, but how would they, how did the process work of shooting this uh, to, to make this come to life? They basically a couple of days every year got together with the same cast, including the daughter who is Richard Linklater's real life daughter, Lorelai Linklater, and they got them all together to continue their characters and watch them age in real time. When you first see Ethan Hawke in the movie, you're like, I didn't know he was that young. Well, it was 12 years ago. He's in his 30s there. This is some of the younger scenes, right? So so it's amazing how ambitious it was. I mean, even for the kids, you know, his daughter famously said she didn't want to do this movie after a while, right? And you would think the actors, maybe they had other commitments over the years, but no, they stuck to it because they believe in Richard Linklater. This is a riveting, poignant movie, the most unflinching realism I've ever seen on film. It's basically like a documentary. It captures so much heart and so much drama and comedy. It's also very funny, and it uses pop and rock music cues all throughout to keep you up to date on what time frame it's in. And it feels so natural how it flows basically. Ethan Hawke was like built for these roles. Oh, he's so good. He really carries the film. It rests on his shoulders. And Texas is a character in the film as well. It's all set there. And it really uh, embodies sort of like a lot of what's going on in the movie. Uh, there's no twists or climactic chases or anything like that. There's nothing sort of groundbreaking at the very end of it where you're like having this aha moment. It's just this wonderful collection of stories and moments that you have in a typical boy's life. It's two hours and 45 minutes. So I have to mention that. I have to caution that. But this to me solidifies Richard Linklater as a contemporary Temporary American master of film. He joins the echelon of like P.T. Anderson, Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola. This is a masterful masterpiece. It's quite the endorsement. So, uh, how many hammers are we going with for uh, Boyhood? This is an instant classic. I will not be surprised if it gets Best Picture at the Oscars. Five hammers! Put it out there. Yeah, so see it. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has some competition to uh, to deal with this weekend. Yes, Dwayne is starring as Hercules, and this is from Brett Ratner, and this looks great in 3D. It's got some dazzling visuals. Unfortunately, they never can decide on the tone whether they want it to be ultra campy with the one-liners and the winking to camera, or a more serious look at this character, right? So I found that it had all these misfires throughout the film. Dwayne Johnson, love the guy, very charismatic. He's easy to watch. Uh, you got John Hurt in the cast, Ian McShane, Rufus Duel. There's some good battle scenes, but even they get generic after a while. And The Rock, you know what? Forbes comes out saying he's one of the highest paid actors. He's at least smart with aligning with these franchises that undoubtedly will have a fan base. Oh, sure. I mean, this is a $100 million movie, but it's going to make a lot of money worldwide. It's got that mass appeal. Unfortunately, though, by the end, it just succumbs to all those narrative devices that you see in all these sword and sandal epics, like the good king turns out to be bad. Uh, the partner that bails on them to go spend his riches comes back at the end and saves them. You know, there's a kid in trouble. Uh, all that typical stuff and the battle scenes actually even got very repetitive so despite a few good moments of eye candy uh, didn't have any originality or no surprises to me how many hammers for Hercules uh, two out of five two out of five a boyhood clearly the one oh, to watch this weekend dude like that okay see it twice hammers have dropped thanks for that Thor let's check back in with Don and talk